I never dream about Michael. I mean, you would think after all that, I would certainly, I mean, God. Well, yeah, I, I guess I did once. I, 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 I mean, dream about him, sort of, but he, he, he was like sitting around with this bunch of weird people I didn't recognize. And he, he wasn't even doing anything, just sitting around on the screen porch. I mean, come on, a screen porch. He's never sat on a screen porch in his life. They don't have screen porches where Michael comes from. And he was drinking something. They all were. And laughing, sort of. Not ha-ha, real laughing, just little giggles kind of floating on the air. And ice was tinkling in the glasses. I could hear it. Was Michael having a good time or was he just being polite? I couldn't tell, he was, he was just part of the dream. There were trees waving outside. I, I guess they were in the Hamptons or somewhere. Or Hawaii, because there was this guy in a blue Hawaiian shirt handing out drinks who looked like Jake Gyllenhaal, only older and not as cute. I mean, I could have been the Hamptons, I don't know. It's a screen porch, green trees, ice tinkling in the glasses. And nothing happened, the dream just ended. Dreams, the sound asleep in bed dreams. Mine never make any sense. I mean, they come out of nowhere. Marsha Sizemore and me singing Rock and Robin on the Jungle Gym in third grade. I, I barely even knew Marsha Sizemore and she was kind of a little bitch. That's the kind of thing I dream about. I don't, I don't even remember most of my dreams. Why do I remember that one? And the one where I was walking my dog with my BFF Lady Gaga. I don't even have a dog. Where did that come from? My dreams are crazy. Why do I even bother to dream them? What, what is that other world that lives in my head and only comes out when I'm asleep? Do we have shelves of dreams stacked in some library in our heads waiting to come alive? And what makes them happen? Are we living two lives at the same time, one awake and one asleep? It, it's sort of like after you die, eternal rest and all that. Do we dream then? People in songs and movies and TV shows always dream about their girlfriends and boyfriends. They can't wait to go to sleep so they can hold them and kiss them and on and on and that yeah, as if. I mean, those aren't dreams. They, they, they are daydreams. You have control of your daydreams. You can set every single detail exactly like you want it. At least I can and do all the time. Too much of the time. Is it daydreaming I'm doing or is it remembering? I guess it's a little bit of both all mixed in together. But real dreams, those little pebbles of nothing just bobbing up, maybe that's the real deal. Maybe that's what keeps us going. Because in the dream me, Michael is barely there. Where I really live is Marsha Sizemore and Lady Gaga and strangers and things that never even happen. Life just goes on. Maybe it's good that I never dream about Michael. The 24 Hour Plays is an artistic home for me. The team has really believed in me ever since I was a director in the life-changing nationals program. And every time they ask me to come back since then, I'm just more and more grateful to be a part of this family. I'm not enough to carry this. 
24 hour plays phenomenon on my tiny shoulder. So that's why we need your help to keep it going. The 24 hour plays raises up audiences, artists, and this year for me personally, they really reminded me that the show does indeed go on.